Hey, welcome back to another episode of Night in the Woods, and I am recording the last episode, I believe the last episode, um, right after the episode I just did. So yeah, we just woke up at the bottom of this hill, and now we're kind of dragging ourselves across this little piece of woods. Oh, we stopped. God is here in this room. I believe that times like this we can call out and know that our cry our cries are heard. <laughs> da da da. Da da da. While we're here, maybe someone could like uh, would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars and and she loved to hear about them. She I'm so sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace, and I called the police on her m more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns her lesson. That's all I gotta say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on our block, on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Uh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night, down the end of the center avenue, and someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got and they got shot at, and May fell and. She must have fallen off a million things a million times, and all it takes is a landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh. Uh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who, who done it. I'm sure she... The janitor! Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... It's gonna be fine. For today, at least ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May? Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? Da da. May, honey. Everything. Uh. 
Okay, thank God. Now we're gonna have to actually walk all the way over there. Crap. Greg? Holy crap, May. It's May. Holy crap, dude. I thought you were gonna be dead. Not yet. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party. Feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, that sounds good. Her mom says it's okay to be to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house. Yeah, and all the way here. <clears throat> Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I hope she, I sure hope she's alright. Mm-hmm. Both of you shh. No th what? It's left noisy. So, how well do you know this guy? We ordered pizza, what, twice, like, we ordered pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway, now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as you, as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him, the, the pizza guy. Pizza here. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You're like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled. I don't know. I'm in uh, I'm in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, that's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. We'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. Oh well. May? I don't know. Give us a call if you need if you need to come home. I will. Love you, mom. Love you, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like I'd puke, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. All right, eat your guts for the moment at least. <clears throat> Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was like really worried. You were correct to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What even was that game? Werewolf shred the Werewolf shred the Nara three. Well, I played this at Casey's house like years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. 
Ah, uh, okay. I got like a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills. And we're not big enough to get a towers or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should like, maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take it. Can we all hit the sack? Sure, dude. Da -da -da. Hey, everybody, everybody, go to bed now. Holy crap! See you all tomorrow. You sure? It's, are you sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got to do anything. Uh, none of this got anything to do with me. No worries are following me around, or weirdos are following me around. Oh right. See ya. Bye, germ. Bye, Jerm. Be safe. <laughs> hey. Hey, Greg. You like? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy. But, like, that's not really a, a reason, I guess. I was playing the game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. I had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. Heh <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it like 24-7. Until this one afternoon. I suddenly like... And something... Suddenly like something broke. It was just like pixels. Your, your computer broke? No like reality broke. The characters on screen... Like I had felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore, they were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like, I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it just, me, alone. And like, the, re the realization like dumped out of all the screen or dumped out of the screen and into real life went outside in the tree out front I looked at it every day it was like a friend outside the window now it was just a thing just a thing that was there growing up and eating and just being there like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head and there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes, just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried, because nothing was there for me anymore. And it was all just stuff, stuff in the universe, just dead. Dude, where, why didn't you tell me? I don't know, what could I have said? This all happened the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, uh, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face with a bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. It's probably an a-hole. No, dude. I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then, you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does, which I guess is understandable because he does like everything. I mean, I meant to ask you, did, uh, did that journal crap, did it actually work? Kinda, sorta. It helps me like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. 
But since that whole thing had it back, uh, <sighs> when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes back in the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around uh, people alone. And there was the statue of, like, the founder or something. A, r a really crappy statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't even leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally I got up, I got the, I got up to uh, the courage to leave. I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone and I ju it just wasn't, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head in my life. I can kind of feel that. Um, because whenever I'm over at college, or well, whenever I was uh, in the dorms over at college, like every day just felt like it was limbo. It was like the hours were going by so fast and standing still at the same time. And uh, it, it just felt like misery there. Even though everybody was having, or a lot of people were having a good time around me, it's like I was the only one that was like, this isn't right. Something's not right. I don't like this. I want to be home. And so whenever I got back home, I was a lot more happier. Everything felt a little more familiar. Um, and every day I wasn't like felt in misery or in limbo. Like it was, it was actually insane. Cause I'm not sure if I ever felt limbo like that, but, um, yeah, dude, you should have called me. We could have come up, uh, come and rescued you. Would have like kidnapped you. I like couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room in bed. That's that's horrible, dude. I thought that when I came home, I just felt so safe here, and everything made sense for a few days, and then all this and and and, dude, dude, shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. Da da da. I. Da da da. 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 Hi right, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. Crap. Oh no. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. That's scary. There he is. What are you? Are you actually a ghost? Or just some guy? What is this thing I'm on? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Nice shot. It was, I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ah, you effing shot me. Hey, a-hole, get away from her. Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of our- uh, sticking out of us. I'm going to beep 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 you. Yeesh. Ah. Oh. You okay, dude? Where did- where, where, where did? Hey, jerk. Why the uh? Why the heck are you out here all by yourself? This is all because of me. Oh yeah, dude, all your fault. You definitely made these dudes creep around. 
following us and kidnapping someone, maybe. Yeah, you did it with your effing mind control powers. Dude, come off it. He, it it's in my head. It's in my dreams. Dude, dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything... I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay, dude? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you to the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly, clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on. And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg, cough. Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back in, up in the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. No, I have to go on. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and time up or something. Can you walk me? I, I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it or block it shut or something. Oh, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. All of them. Looks like all of us, all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang. <laughs> Gee, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left the precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Nah, dude, we create a legend. What are you even talking about? It's been a weird few days. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, man, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. Cough. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna get what's gonna happen down there. Alright then. Now we go together. Ooh, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you are you our tour guide now? Here we go guys. Down we go. We have Postal Springs tourism pamphlets at the top at the shop. And I get bored. This is uh this is in the brochure brochure well here we are cough cough Mary you okay I have my inhaler no I'm fine it's just like it's like something huge is on top of me I mean technically you're not wrong is it like asthma that's how asthma is it's not asthma but it's a big guy but thanks Shh. I hear something down there. You gonna be okay, man? Yeah, I'm alright. Should be quiet. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts.
door, door, tunnel, whatever. Here we go. Ah, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, a-hole. We're like five times scarier than you. Uh-oh. There they are. They're right there. I'm gonna kill them. Eid. You'll you'll do no such thing. It's out of our hand it's out of your hands now. He shot me. Yeah, then I'd say we're even. Or a girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was it was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their darndest. To protect their own and their neighbors. Then, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. But by family relation or just by being hard workers. C contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let he's not gonna let you leave uh until he until he's had a say. Well he's already got an arrow through his through your shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in what whatever. Wait, so you think that Ede he kidnapped that kid at Harfest? He's, he's been in my head somehow. He's always tired, constant headaches, or I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following us, all of us. He, oh, little girl, you don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this, or like, I felt it. What Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney, who found it, 20 years back or so after the rest after the west mine closed out past Br Br brittle bridal vest oh my gosh what are these words vest sh scumacher schumacher last su supervisor was out there when the company locked off the entrance carved his initials and date on the door then you got this mine the old one not even a proper mine big hole copper abandoned shoot long before any of us were born too close to water and that water was poison when the first settlers came here out here that old spring used to be right above where we're standing and that water dried up 1992 or so when some men from west mine can't uh, come back up here to try bootlegging practically built a new elevator got got the main tunnel cleared never found no coal just dug deeper and deeper till ed busts through that wall and find this place and jim walks right into that hole 
and never hits bottom and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim doesn't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams, in walking times, waking times. Swat. So what brought you down here? So what does this have to do with you or me or anyone? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Oh, here we go. Gosh darn it, I hate this crap. You old dip. Oops. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got an answer back. Oh God, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there signing, singing to you, right? I, I. Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe him. But he was persuasive. He had the gr the gl glimmer, the glimmer. One's uh, takes a uh, shine into, it rubs off on you. You can do things. i would never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked to us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was this town holding stable, it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First time. First one was Tom Turner, who believed me, uh, who believed, who believed you, me, was a bastard. Pure trash, just pure trash. We got him down here. And then the whole, oh, I didn't get to read that, I accidentally pressed the button. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? Uh, they're feeding him he's hungry like you wouldn't believe every few months or so he starts singing and it's someone's turn to find someone was that was that what you were doing the other night no what happened the other night was a shame one of our numbers broke the rules and had to pay up that was a hard thing to do I think I'm going to be sick. We never pick no one who's going to be missed. As a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god. Oh no. Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was going to... And all he was going to contribute to society. Kept a bunch of kids growing up with no dad. Was a rap sheet and a, a mile long before whatever said and what, but whatever sad end he'd wind up at we did him a favor you killed Casey oh my god we don't use that word you know he was singing a, uh, taking up business with his cousin right you know what happened to his cousin burned alive when he was a little trailer lab when his little trailer lab exploded they had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you don't and you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor. Oh god, Casey's been down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. All right now, throw it down right now, or I will shoot. Heh <laughs> What if I get you first? Bullet sticking right out of your eye. Bang, bang. You brought guns down here. Dangerous as far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I, right, I, right. throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it.
You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. <laughs> We're not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna get be humming again someday. Old Miles puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you used to be you provided for your family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at a grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You even seen that. A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job became a bur burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just <laughs> shapes. I'm going to die down here. Why are you telling us this? Because we're getting old, and even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're done. When we're gone, really, you're like pitching us on this? Where any, where any of, uh, where any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now financially, like, or is this some big costume party murder club? For someone's crappy boss who is afraid of dying. That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because no one is here to do this. You remember that flood a, a few, few years back? Remember the blizzard of 2010? Ah, 2010. The years of YouTube when it was the golden age. That's what happens. And beyond that, jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles, Pasta Springs bleeds to death, and soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields of trees. Fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. <clears throat> I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So can we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. We understand that you don't know who we are out here, out there, but we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably get permanent damage. Shut up, Ede. You don't know what a thing, you don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Ede, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullcrap you, but the truth is, you ju I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever, it's a piece of crap anyways. Hehe. <laughs> I can't move, guys. I'll carry you. <clears throat> wow. My brain is in pieces right now, my elbow's just popped. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna- what are we going to do? We'll crack the one. We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I. Shh. Talk later. <laughs> old old stuff in here. I'm getting goosebumps. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec. Okay. Okay. So Casey, yeah, I, yeah, and for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right now, All right? But like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen, which was what had happened all like a long time ago, <clears throat> or how they remember or like picture it and things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and. Sorry, I lost it. It's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. They're all really sad. Ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. 
Wait. Everybody shut up. What? Shh. Thought I... God. Is everyone okay? May. May. May, say something. Ha. Ha ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Why are we laughing? Ha. Eh. Sob. Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy. We messed that guy up and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we getting out of here? Shh, let me rest. I feel an air coming from somewhere, so we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you? I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus? Yeah. I love you. Aw. Welcome back, man. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. Cough. That was like the third time in two days. Third time's charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. <laughs> and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. Wait, don't leave me. Thank you. Yeah, you can smell water. It just has like like that smell. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. One foot? Holy cow. You're about to start swimming. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost, trying so hard since not, since not to be angry, got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I wanted to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the, fe the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was all was over long before I got here. So long hiding. Or trying to outrun this. I get up. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want to I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again, and I want it to hurt, because that means it means it meant something. 
It meant that I am. It means that I am something at least. Ha 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 ha. Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end. But I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right now, right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just very very tired. Hang here for a bit if we if you need to. We're safe. Mhm. Mm hey, there's a light over here. Did you smell that? <laughs> I bet he did. Yeah, lights have like a certain kind of smell. <laughs> What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough to at least. Looks old enough at least. Question mark? Brochure. Hello. We're down here. Don't ask us why. Please. please. Could, could get lucky if someone's out here in the woods at night. I can't try to make it out. I can try to make it out. No, can uh, I can like. Da da da. Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. You mean adrenaline? Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, man? Endorphins. Ah, uh, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins all the way uh, up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. This place, huh? Hey, man. What the heck, germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> Hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Apparently so. Wheeze. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some, I brought some sodas. Awesome. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this hill? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> okay, what? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> I like how he treats like everything that's weird like or everything that seems kind of seems like normal like weird to him but he's also weird there goes a weird weird guy he saved our lives germ is good germ is a good man he is it strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there 
How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator is broken, and we caused a cave, and that was self-defense, I guess. But we did, but we did cause the death of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all they're all still alive down there. Oh God, yeah, jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even, bl I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. <laughs> hmm, this is like that tro trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. <clears throat> hey guys, um, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyways. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the heck even happened. <clears throat> Easier for me to get it all out there. And I need to talk. Uh, even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked in and into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did, and I guess that's really scary, like, who knows what's gonna happen, but I guess you can, like, connect things, or connect two things. So, sometimes you need someone to be the thing, someone to be the thing you don't have, even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kinda killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that, lol. Am I, am I ever going to have a handle on just what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to be just... I don't want us just to be a part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe that there's that ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing to where, wherever you are, you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than any, anyone ever. I don't know if it's better, if it, if better friends exist or like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your A into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh crap. Hi uh, guys, I was just kidding about all a lot of that. I'm really tired, I don't know what I was saying. Log off, May. Log off. Achievement Unlocked, Changing of the Seasons. <laughs> hey man, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice later though. I'll see you there. Hey man, nice message last night. I mean like, really, you massive dork will main practice today because I feel like we need to do something normal. And uh, I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Only message if uh, it's good to be alive this morning, that's all. <laughs> Alright guys, this is gonna be our last sharkle. 
There we go. Our last charcoal. Stars. May honey, is that you? Yeah. And I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. So, you want to talk about school? <laughs> nope. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, mom. Why? It's been, I just. You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left and, to hang out with your friends. I, I, I'm sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I really had a tough year. Um, I don't even know if I can tell you. <laughs> honey, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Uh, are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight, we can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. I love breakfast for dinner. We had that the other night and it was amazing. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Hey, going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town clothes? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall? Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Yeah, fall goes by so fast, and I hate that because it's my favorite season. But it just has to go by. Hey, it's Dad. Hey, Dad. I work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> yeah, okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna uh, sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've, I've mined. I've made glass. I've done a heap of other things. But this place, they don't respect you for working. They don't. Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and your her your time. I want her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything I can do or you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it and then get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while, but here, <laughs> I got something for you. Uh, got it out of the uh, basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No? Really? You sure? It's granddad. Uh, yeah, granddad must have put... Must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, it looks bright and new. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. There was a point, there was a time where you could see your granddad, like the ghost of him. And we totally didn't do that. I did that in my last, uh, like my old series of this episode. Or, uh, my old episodes of the series. So if you want to check that out. It's it's like, wait, a title of granddad, and it's like a picture of granddad. Wait, they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. Uh, you should, you show that to your boss and tell him to eat crap. May. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May. Yeah. You come down and, uh, you come down and pick it with us if we walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. 
Love you, Kenton. Be back later, Dad. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, man. Sure. What's wrong? Don't ask. A lot of weird calls this morning. Oh. What kind of calls? Shut up. Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever it is you do. Okay, fine, I will. May. <laughs> Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Well, geez, until now, I never, <laughs> I never considered that. May. Okay, fine, thanks, bye. <gasps> hey, May. What's up, Summers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headaches is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me... Ma those things uh, make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take uh, pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if you ever have any... have a medicine... headache... Or have, need to pee. I'll come by. Alright, anytime, neighbor. And no more Summer's poems? We have any more? <gasps> we do. Hey, man. Hi, Mr. Chazikov. Any more dust stars we can look at? One more. Our last dust stars. <laughs> Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine the fa uh, Firebaker. The Firemaker. I wander in the cold and dark, making a fire and holding, huddling up to it for light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This storm makes me want to cry. Crying on my roof. Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. We read a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars. Or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened. Because hearing it happen to you, this is, that is nice. It's not bad. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Achievement Unlocked Dust Stargazer. So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? Giant moon. Ooh, that's super. That, that sounds super. You must come meet me when it happens. It'll be late at night. There will be others uh, on the roof. You come and I will make a hot chocolate. What a time. Sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. I guess we get to see a Superman, or that's just like saying like, yeah, we'll do that later, but the like, game is going to end. I don't remember.
Hey, janitor. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its. Whatever, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So, what what it's been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I only remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How do you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I feel a, every bit as old as these trees. You know, something did big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today, and like should have learned something. But I don't know if I can learn if I learned anything really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And something sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. Well, done on this day's work. <laughs> Quitting time. It's Melcher's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha ha. We ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, my throat hurts from talking. Wait, how do you know my name? Let's see, it is all it is like one minute before one. I've been talking since seven. Hey, you're a new person. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks like uh, I've uh, never seen you around here. I spent a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out, and I let a gust of wind pass over me. Chills me out for a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold? Yeah, you don't want to do that for too long. <laughs> but then you can you can go in you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Oh, nobody's here. Holy crap. A, uh, a taco place. This is the best thing that's happened to the town since. Got rid of those snakes in the diner. We got internet. We still, we were still using cyberfish until like two years ago. Because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to turn a movie. It takes like one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the crap out of some tacos. Hey, Dave. I think that's what your name is. So, you're a taco dude now. I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's a snow in the sky. Or there is snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hate tacos. Good news, they're your, now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. I like tacos, um, but just not hard shell tacos. Well, I can eat them. I just prefer soft shell tacos. Well, look who's alive and well. Is it a surprise? Nah. Just seems like a relevant. Well, look who's li who's alive and well to you too. Yeah. Yeah. 
You want to get out of here? Your band practice? Yes. Jeez, that door never gets any less unstuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. Ah, uh, I hate winter. Winter's good, actually. Nobody's here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to say yeah. I didn't say it in the text. Where would where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Go play those Legion Hall shows in front of Lucene. Oh wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yep. So, um, you okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I didn't, I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell. This thing, this, this kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So like, I don't really get what happened here. What even happened down there with you and the whatever that was. The murder call of dads. Sure. I kind of get them. Really? No. Yes. I don't know. It's like a porch light that's on and there's all these bugs around it and then the light goes out and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about the couch last night. Good. That was last night. Seems like two weeks ago. Hey, uh, yeah. It's going to be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean, you've already been gone. And you've been gone at least once since we got back. Since you got back. At least. I, di I died a little getting that battery the other day. See? You're a goner. Like last night. It feels sometimes like there's so much horrible past. Still trapped in the hostile world society from the other night. Haha, uh -huh, I just realized I know what that painting was. What was it? Never mind. But it feels like the past can't just leave. And it's still here. You're like swimming in it. And you can't, ha you can't have a future. Nah, brah. Nah, brah, that's it. What was our biggest crime ever? I almost burned down school. That was like our high school high point. Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. That was self-defense. All of that stuff. Like, today is different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change, I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods, gonna be different because we're, we're, we were here. That's something. Something, something, something. Uh, they killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? we tell them I don't know it is worse to let them think he's alive or tell them he's in a bottomless hole a tunnel in the woods what a bunch of guys what a bunch of guys who are gonna be dead soon we should tell them we shouldn't tell them none of this feels good how could it man I think it's important that we know at least makes it mean something I don't know how to say it I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything or who can or who even can care. 
do you think any of this makes anything means anything or like meant anything hmm does it Gregory hey babies hang on babies that was work geez I'm sore from like everything got these stretches so like can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys exclamation point exclamation point uh um thought you like couldn't leave home and eh, you guys are enough or maybe I'll just visit for a, a while once you get settled in of course yeah dude that'd be rad hey guys yeah thanks for saving me last night like repeatedly not even a problem dude we'll save you as many times as it takes Hey B. Hey B. Uh, are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. When the heck are even happened last night? Uh don't ask me. Uh nothing, nothing. nothing. Can't we just like play a song and get a pizza? And think about this tomorrow. I had a dream that with the world was ending. Song and pizza. Alright. Sweet. It does, dude. What? Answering your question like two minutes ago. What question? What were we even talking about?
Well, guys, that is uh, that scene of Night in the Woods. There's no more. There's really nothing to do other than probably like some other things to play, like replay through the whole game again, but I'm not going to do that. This game was really fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me play this game. I absolutely love Night in the Woods. I love the art style. I love the music. I love the story. It is just one of the most perfect games ever. So, um, yeah, there's nothing else to say other than um, thank you for watching. And um, I guess you'll see me in another video.